Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is an Aurora Power One inverter. It's a PVI 3.6.OUTD UK, 3.6 kilowatt inverter. I put two new relays in it last night, two out of four. Um, it wasn't given any errors, but I didn't test it. I just put the relay straight in because there was burn marks so you could see which ones were cooked. Plugged it in, got it running on a plug to where I test Aurora's. Um, we've got a, got a DC supply coming in there, it's on, it's got DC coming into one, if we go through the menu, it's got a voltage on the grid, it's saying there's a 2 amp current on the grid, which is peculiar, it says it's getting 173 volts with no current on line 1, 36 volts on line 2, there's nothing on line 2, they do that sometimes, it says it's getting no power on line 1, no issues, inverter okay. That bizarrely is the date. Time is out by an hour, I think. That's the type, serial number. So it's just saying that it's okay, and it's done a bit of work. It's done 28,000 kilowatt hours, so it's kind of, this is an end of life machine. But it's it started off at about 12 degrees, and it's steadily been going up, and that's not because of the sun or anything, it's the middle of November. This one here, which is my original ABB, which is basically the same machine, is doing 127 watts. So this one should be doing between 20 and 50, that kind of number. Less than 100 anyway. It's making noise. It looks clean, nothing else looked burnt, but I wasn't particularly looking for anything else. In my experience, the Aurora's only seem to fail for relays. But this isn't given an error message, so it thinks it's working. So. Not entirely sure what's gone wrong with it. I'll just leave it here to cook for a while. Come back in a couple of hours maybe, see if the temperature's gone up and that something's getting hot inside and is about to blow. Could be one of the other two relays that I didn't fix is, is a bit dicey, you know? But it's not saying it's got a relay fault. E31 is the relay fault on these, which is what I usually see. We'll leave it for a while to cook and see what happens. It went up to about 15 and a half degrees. I turned it off and put the cables onto the second line, the DC input two. Um, it's still humming and it's made no difference. It's a bit of a weird one. Something's not getting through. I didn't pay any money for this inverter. Maybe I did, I might have paid 10 or 20 quid for it. Or I got it for free, I can't remember. Depends on what I bought for me in that time. But I spent maybe I don't know, if I put two relays in it, that's about three or four quid. So I've put a bit of time into it and I'd like it to go, so it's a bit strange that it isn't. Temperature's just jumping straight up there to what it was before. I don't know, it's just, it's just a weird one. So after another while, it's just getting hotter and hotter. There isn't much sun today, but it still it shouldn't be getting hot and doing nothing. Um, it's not hot to the touch or anything, but I'm just gonna shut it down. It's got a grid fail, it'll die in a second. I'll pull these wires off and I'll wire in another one and see how that goes. It's been a bit of a fail so far. Uh, you won't be able to see very much, and that's okay. There's just one big screw in the bottom here. I'm going to lift off. Quite heavy and it's awkward getting it up. That's it. Up and out. Here's another one I repaired last night. You have to kind of get it up and center it, and then it should just slot down. Enough to mess around with. 
Might be it. Good enough for me. Put the screw on the bottom. It's up, it's up. So it took three minutes to do a swap. Let's turn on the AC, let's turn on the DC. This should wake up. It had an E. There it is, power one. It had this last August, July, um, E31 relay failure. So I put two new relays in last night. It's waiting for the sun. That's a sign the voltage isn't high enough, which is possible. That one's only gone down to 90, 90 watts, so it could be low. So I'll leave it until it gets something, because it needs to wake up. It needs a bit of a bit of volts. We'll leave it until it wakes up. So it's about half an hour later and it's still saying waiting sun. So I wonder if I can go in here and no, it's not that one. I can't remember what the password is now. I had written it on things, so the password should be four zeros. Yes. Okay. So I want to go in and find um, language V start that one. V start one. Yeah, so I'll turn that down as low as it'll go. It was set to 199, and it'll go down to 120, I think. And then it might start. You see, if it's only, it was getting 175 volts, I think, and it just won't start at that. Whereas this way, it'll start as soon as it gets 120 volts. 120, okay, start, V start one, so V start two. I don't know why it would be set so high, but it must have been whatever installation it was at made sense. And this might be the way to cure it, if it's saying that uh, waiting sun issue. It doesn't go any lower than 120, I don't think. Let's try it. No, that's it, 120. Uh, there's only one and two. Enter. Nope, escape, 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 escape. So it'll do 46 seconds. I'll come back in a few seconds. Now, nine seconds. It said measuring rezo. It should just start now. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Uh, v grid two two two. I didn't see V. There, relay is clicking. Two, three, four. Now it's automatically scrolling through everything. There's the serial number of the machine. What I would like to see is E total two six four one six. So that's the same today. We're getting 29 watts out of it straight away because, after all, if I could find it, V in is 145 volts, so that 150, so that lies between 120 and 199, so it wouldn't start. Simple as that. So, what I would like to see is the one I like, the screen I like, is that one. I like to see 29 watts, which isn't much, but it's more than nothing. And this machine looks like it might be going so out of two testing today this one seems to be starting which is excellent so that'll do now that's uh, how to deal with the waiting sun issue on an aurora inverter cool questions or comments leave them below thanks for watching see you later